Hello friends, I'm Varun Vora and welcome to my channel IT with Varun Vora to master the IT risk, IT audit, IT security and IT compliance fundamentals and concepts not available in any book or over the web. Friends, as part of our ITC journey, I already have over 150 videos related to various ITGC categories and control areas across application, server and database layers with a new video every week on my channel making it the most trusted channel and resource to build or advance your career in IT audit, IT security, IT SOX, IT risk and IT compliance. Friends will continue the operations ITGC category under which we have already covered incident and problem management testing for different layers like application, Linux, Unix server, Windows server, Oracle database. So today we'll understand how to test incident and problem management for SQL database. So let's dive into the first critical step, which is the request. So for incident and problem management testing, what we need is the list of all incident tickets or service requests or work orders. Uh, they can be called by any or all of these different names. We need these tickets logged related to the SQL database from a ticketing tool like ServiceNow, Remedy, Jira or any other ticketing tool which might be used in the organization for a specific assessment period which can be anything like six months, one year and so on. So some of the examples friends I have for you know which will help you understand the SQL database related incidents or service request or work orders what you might see and what will constitute SQL database related incidents are field SQL jobs interface issues, any sort of storage and capacity issues, memory related issues, SQL connection issues, SQL performance issues, backup failure or SQL authentication issues. So these are some of the categories under which you'll see most of the incident tickets related to a SQL database. Now back to that request piece so list of all incident tickets or service requests or work orders is what we need. Once we have that listing, we can either go for full population or sample testing based on the risk in the environment. So either of the approach we can adopt. Whatever approach we adopt, full population or sample testing, it will give us a selected set of incident tickets or service requests or work orders.